Larry, tell me about some of the services that are offered here at Mountain West Physical Therapy. Uh, we're a physical therapy office that we deal mostly in orthopedic, sports medicine, acute rehabilitation. We do a lot of uh, seeing post-operative patients that have had some type of knee surgery, ankle surgery, hip surgery, back surgeries. We also do some type of rehabilitation for people who have had you know, strokes, uh, head injuries and other things. The other thing we do here is we do a lot of uh, sports rehabilitation. We also do a running evaluation. That's one of the things we're trying to really key to the community is right now is trying to do running evaluations. Well, and that's an interesting concept because I didn't realize that you could evaluate the running by watching and through a camera and computer system. Let's talk a little bit specifically about that. We've got Sly ready to go on this treadmill over here. Yeah, what we do when we do running evaluations, we use to use a camera. We do a posterior view and a lateral view. And the things we're looking at, we'll do a close-up view of the feet. When we do a close-up view of the feet, we're looking at if there's any type of medial bulge. And basically, if the shoe's giving them a support, if it doesn't feel like it's giving them good support, then they get excessive bulging on that medial side of the shoe. The other thing we do is we look at the knee angle to the hip angle, see if they kind of got knocked knees, if they are bow-legged. The other thing we look at, especially for women, is, is a lot of the hip drop. If they're getting excessively hip drop, then they're not having enough core strength. And when we look at the side view, the lateral view, we're looking at heel strike, and we're also looking at how much their head bobs up and down because what we're trying to do is we're trying to decrease their vertical displacement and try to get them to run with their uh, foot underneath them. What we try to do is we actually are trying to train people with uh, use of a metronome. So what we do is we keep the speed on the treadmill the same and we're just trying to change the cadence of the runner. So what they're doing instead of striding out so far, they're trying to stride with their foot underneath them. If we try to teach them to do that just on their own, then they have a tendency to run asymmetrical. If we teach with the metronome, then they're just keeping up with the beat of the music and they can do that a little bit better. Well, it sounds like you make that easy for them to understand and then you get a visual with that computer system and the camera going on at the same time you're watching physically their body. That's correct. What we do is we download it to a computer and what we can do is actually put the computers or the run side by side so we can show the patients or the people what it actually looks like with the different cadences or actually what it looks like if they get excessively hip drop or if they have you know, she's not giving them correct support, so we can actually show them on the computer, you know, close up view what it looks like. Now, I'm assuming, is this more for the sports training, or is this really good for overall physical help? Uh, both. It's, you know, we, a lot of times, we, have to, we end up seeing them because we're right next to uh, the orthopedic surgeons, and so we end up seeing people that have injuries, and so we see them uh, post-injury, you know, post and so we'd actually like to start seeing people before they get in mm -hmm. that situation, because like I so said, they're trying to train for uh, uh, an event. They come and see the doctor when the event is like two or three weeks away, and, and so it's hard to change their uh, running technique during that period of time. It's better if you do it beforehand. Okay, well, and this running evaluation is something that you're focusing on right now, but like you said earlier, you do so many, offer so many different kinds of services here. And one thing, we have Rachel here that can show us some of the core strength you were talking about. A little bit. Yeah, what we're trying to do is, Rachel, if you jump on a table, we also do this for the running evaluations uh, for the athletes, is like I was talking about before, is if we have a, a person that has excessive hip drop or they don't have their proper core strength, uh, they have a hard time getting into uh, the proper running techniques where they get some abnormalities and actually get some uh, tissue breakdown. Go start. So what we do is we try to get them into a core strength and we have them start running or go to the pace of what they run at when they're doing the core strength. We'll take them through five positions. What we do is on, bat on their side, on their back, on the other side, then on their stomach. So when they take them through these, it actually works on a lot of strength you know, of the core, especially the hips are extremely important. Like we try to do is try to keep them up with the beat of how they run. And that's what we try to do. And what we're trying to work up to is have them get up to three sets of 30. And it's, you know, some people it's really difficult to even get up to three sets of 30. Well, I'm not hurt, and I think three sets of 30 would kill me. <laughs> let's, let's get you trying it. Yeah, so this is wonderful. Besides the core training, here she's doing the side there. Yeah, the sides are extremely hard, especially for runners. If uh, it's actually the down hip that's you know, trying to work on strength, because she doesn't have the right strength, then what she's going to do is she's going to get a, a hip drop, which is going to put more stress on her feet and also her knee, which causes, you know, different type of syndromes that occur during running. Okay, well, you know, this is all really interesting. This core training, the running that Sly was doing over there. So many services offered here. Now, how do they get a hold of you? And if they're injured, I guess they come and have a consultation? 
Uh, that's correct. All they need to get hold of us, our telephone number is 787-9030. We're just south of the Special Hospital in Alpine Orthopedics Building, and we're the North Physical Therapy Office. In fact, we ought to talk a little bit about the location, because the Special Hospital is about 2500 North, right around there. In fact, I've got it here. Yeah, 2310. Yeah, 2310 North, 400 East, and we're Suite B. And like I said, you come to the Alpine building, the red roof, and we're on the east side and the north door. It was the red roof that, that yeah. cued me in. It was so easy to find with that. Well, so many services offered. Sly can start running again and show us a little bit more about this because this is something, well, I don't know if it's relatively new, but it's what you wanted to really focus on today. Yeah, and when we're, we're in the process of trying to work on a health fair, and, and we're going to have some demonstrations there at that time. And so, like I said, it's just a video now, so we try to do, try to break down. Because if you watch somebody run live, it's hard to do it. So we actually slow down the video now so we can actually see, you know, any type of abnormalities occur during running. Well, I think that health fair and or not throughout the year, you really need to have this kind of physical therapy at our fingertips, and you've got it available for us. That's correct. Right here. Mountain West Physical Therapy. Thanks so much, Larry. Thank you.